All right, let's get started. In this lecture, we're going to learn about life energy, emotions, and filters. So from the time we are born to the time we die, we have something called life energy. Some people just call it energy, what you need to get through your day. And this little sun here is going to be representative of our life energy. Now, one important thing to remember is that our life energy is always shining through us at all times, from the moment we are born to the moment we die. However, we experience this life energy in a couple different ways. The first way is by the degree or amount of life energy. For example, if we're feeling healthy and we feel that vitality, that is our life energy coming through to a high degree. If we're feeling ill, if we're feeling sick and we're lying in bed and we feel weak, our life energy is still coming through us then, but to a lesser degree. Now, the second way we experience life energy is through types. Now, traditionally, we call these types emotions, such as feeling happy, feeling angry, and feeling fearful. So, but what we are going to do is we're going to take these emotions and we are going to call them filters. Because what happens is as we go throughout our day, we experience our life energy through these filters. For example, if I'm feeling happy, I'm experiencing my life energy through a happy filter. If I'm feeling angry and I feel rage, that is the same energy, but I'm experiencing it through the anger filter. If I'm feeling worried and fearful, no reason to fear. It is the same energy that was coming through the happiness filter, but you are experiencing it through the fear filter. Now you might ask, what chooses these filters through which we experience our life energy? And that is, we do. Our mind chooses it. So you might say, well, I would like to choose the happy filter all the time, and I would like to do that as well. But the thing is, there's something a bit deeper that chooses how we experience our life energy. And that is based on our belief system. So, if something good happens to me, if I get a raise at work, I feel I have a reason to believe that I should be happy. So I experience that event, I experience my life energy through the happy filter because of my belief about the situation. Now, if something happens and I feel angry about it, a friend that I was supposed to meet with canceled, and he's canceled a dozen times. Now, I have reason to believe that I should be angry about that situation. If I'm afraid my partner is going to break up with me, then I have a belief about that situation that says I should be fearful. So I experience my life energy through the fear filter. Now, the important thing to remember is that everything that happens in your life is ultimately neutral. You decide if you want to label it good or label it bad. The challenge is society has kind of already programmed us to say this is good and this is bad. But as you go throughout your life, you might experience things that might seem bad. You know, they might turn out in the end to actually be good. There might be opportunities there. We don't always see the big picture. You know, if you get fired from your job, perhaps you get a better one. If a loved one passes away, maybe this brings the family closer together. So it's important to look very closely at these belief systems because in the end, it is up to us. We choose 
how we want to feel. We choose what we want to label. And this is what this course is all about. And I'm going to help you to find these beliefs, figure out where they came from, turn them around so you can experience more things in life through the happy filter or whatever filter you'd like. Because life energy, as we said, is always coming through. It's not going to stop. So we might as well experience it through positive filters.